Two Rivers Winery is the home of not only our winery operations, but our chateau. The chateau is an event center, conference center, and a country inn with 10 sleeping rooms. But our primary business is winemaking. Owners Bob and Billy Witham would like to welcome you, and we hope that you'll taste our wines, ask a lot of questions, and by viewing this video, become familiar with our operations and learn about winemaking. Winemaking always starts in the vineyards. We seek a balanced vineyard, one that achieves just the right balance of pH and acids. This is accomplished through tender care of the vines, but also soils which have sufficient nutrients and, of course, plenty of sunshine. It's the combination of appropriate water and sunlight that ripen the fruit and help us achieve the desired sugar content. Here at Two Rivers Winery, we produce both white and red grapes. The Grand Valley is an ideal climate for growing grapes, which takes about 160 frost-free days. Harvest typically begins somewhere close to the middle of September, in which we gently handpick the fruit. Currently, we harvest close to 200 tons of grapes to make approximately 14,000 cases of wine. As the grapes are being picked, they're placed in half-ton bins. They're weighed and recorded, then dumped into a hopper, and up the conveyor belt they go. At this time, we remove unwanted debris, such as sticks and leaves, as these unwanted items can impact the flavor of the wine. Grapes are normally white or red. In the case of the white wines, they go directly into the press. We drop grape clusters into a press. As the juice is extracted, it's caught in a drip pan positioned below the press. The process usually takes about three hours. Red grapes go into a piece of equipment called a crusher and a destemmer. Through a series of augers, the grapes are separated from their stems and the remaining whole berries are crushed. Crushed berries, skins, and seeds are then dumped into fermentation tanks. The fermentation tanks enable us to make the wine. Once the juice is pumped into the tanks, we begin a cold soaking process. Each tank is surrounded with riveted steel jackets and individual thermostats. Once cold stabilization is completed, the tank temperature is turned up to approximately 75 degrees Fahrenheit in preparation for fermentation. The process converts natural sugar to alcohol. This process is completed in 10 to 15 days. Fermentation is achieved through a process called inoculation using yeast. The yeast must be compatible with the sweetness of the juice as well as altitude as yeast behaves differently at different altitudes. We have an on-site lab where the winemaker conducts a variety of different analysis during the course of fermentation and throughout the year. During fermentation, we're interested in seeing how the conversion of sugar to alcohol is progressing. This is monitored a couple of times a day during fermentation. Lab analysis is also critical to ensure we don't have unwanted bacteria developing in the wine. Once the juice has been converted to wine, it's time to start the aging process. All of our wines, except the Riesling wine, go into barrels to age. The barrel room houses our wooden casks. The casks enable appropriate aging of wines. It's a room that we want to keep approximately 65 degrees Fahrenheit and at approximately 75% humidity. The humidity is important so we don't lose product through evaporation, which can result from dried out wood that contracts. We use two types of white oak for aging the wine. Approximately 50% is white French oak and 50% is a combination of American and Hungarian oak. The barrels are typically used for eight years. We replace about 20% each year with new barrels, and the older barrels are either used for port or sold to the public for about $65 each. This is a bargain considering that a new barrel costs about $1,000. Barrels filled with white wine go through a process called battenage, which enables us to stir sediment on the bottom of the barrels to enhance its flavors. This is done faithfully once a month. Red wines are removed from the barrels twice a year and sent back to the fermentation tanks. This is known as racking the wines. It's done so the wine can get oxygen inside periodically. This process enables the wine to continue getting oak flavors from the wood. All of these activities are important to our goal of creating premium wines as they contribute to the wine's complexity. All of the wine is bottled in-house at Two Rivers Winery. Before bottling begins, the bottling line is sterilized for 90 minutes with 180 degree water. 
The wine is then pumped from the fermentation tanks through a sterile filter and into the bottling line. Bottles are loaded on a conveyor belt and travels to the first station where nitrogen gas is blown into each bottle to ensure no unwanted dust particles remain inside the bottle. Next, the bottles go to the filler station. There are 12 spouts at the station. Using 12 spouts prevents the wine from going into shock because it's not thrust into the bottle all at once. Then, the bottle goes to a station where their corked or screw cap is affixed. In either case, just before they're sealed, nitrogen gas is blown into the bottle to displace remaining oxygen and create a vacuum. Finally, the bottles go through the labeling station where both the front and back labels are put on. The bottling line will produce a bottle every one and a half second or almost 900 cases a day. Once the wine is packaged, it's cellared for about three months, then it's ready to be sold on the open market. Two Rivers Winery produces about 14,000 cases of wine each year. 40% of our wine is sold in our tasting room and about 8% is sold on the internet. 52% is sold through our Colorado distributor. You can find our wines at most retail stores that specialize in wine. Many fine restaurants also offer our wines, including the Broadmoor Hotel in Colorado Springs, the Flagstaff House in Boulder, Metro Area P.F. Chang's, the Buckhorn Exchange, the Brown Palace Hotel, and many others. 40% of Two Rivers wine are currently sold out of our two on-site tasting rooms. Customers can sample each of our wines during normal business hours from 10.30 a.m. to 6 p.m. Monday through Saturday and noon to 5 p.m. on Sunday. Time permitting, our tasting room staff, who are very knowledgeable about all of our wines, can speak with you about the nuances associated with each wine and also give you hints about how to taste the wines. In addition, we've especially selected certain gift and food items which are available for sale in the tasting room. The winery also offers customized etching on your wine bottles, which are magnificent to look at and a special gift during holiday events or corporate gift-giving occasions. During your visit at our tasting room, you'll be delighted with the versatility of the selection available for tasting. We currently offer Chardonnay, Merlot, Syrah, Cabernet Sauvignon, Vintner's Blend, Riesling, and our Ruby Port. Whatever your taste in wine, we're sure that you'll find Two Rivers wines to be an exceptional value. We appreciate your visiting and please enjoy your time with us. Cheers. Cheers.